Yo, what do you, buddy? I'm Martin. Hope you're having a good day. Just a quick little news video today discussing the new patch notes that just dropped for tomorrow's brand new update. And this one's actually a pretty big, juicy update. We're getting rework changes to grandpa perks. We also got fixes to victim stats like their endurance and proficiency stats. And we're also getting new cosmetics. So let's jump into it. Drop a thumbs up and subscribe so you stay up to date with everything on Texas Chainsaw Master. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, first up, this update's coming out tomorrow, July 16th, around roughly 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're also getting a brand new Sunny Outfit Pack number two that will cost five bucks. Unfortunately, for the PlayStation users, this will be delayed. But fear not, they will resolve this problem as soon as possible so you can get your hands on this. All right, now time for more of the bigger changes. First up, we got Grandpa Perks. All right, so let me try and break it down for you right here, right now, really quickly. Grandpa Perks reworked. Basically, all of his perks will now be like categorized into three different levels. Basically all the strong perks will be level three and medium perks level two. So all of these level one perks right here, they will activate when grandpa hits level one. Let's say your team bring in these three perks into the game, right? The way it's gonna happen now is that once when grandpa reaches level one, all three of these perks will activate at the same time. So that's a pretty crazy change. It's not gonna work the way how it used to, where if you get grandpa to level one, well, well, well will activate. If you get grandpa to level two, experience stalkers will activate and then if you get grandpa to level three animal farm will activate nope it works if you get grandpa to level one and if you're rocking level one perks all of them will be activated at the same time same goes for level two level three so if you have three level three perks in the game now that means if you get grandpa to level one and level two none of these perks will activate even though they're in the spots of the level one and level two position you know what i'm saying it don't matter no more you gotta get grandpa to level three and then all three of these level three perks will activate at the same time all right another example is that you know how people always just bring in one perk which is this one accelerate alarms that's right you cannot activate it once grandpa's level one even though it's the only perk you have in the game it'll activate once you get grandpa to level three so that's a new change for the grandpa perks will this bring in more blood builds for the family members or will they just disregard grandpa and say, screw you, I'm just going to go for the kills. We don't need you. Time will tell, baby, time will tell. I will say, though, if you combine these two perks right here, well, 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 and Windoom on the family house map, I mean, that seems kind of strong to me. You just got to get you just gotta get Grandpa to level one, then both of these perks will activate at the same time, and that might stop the rushing for the victims if you can get Grandpa to level one in time. I don't know, bro, I'm just yapping. But what do you guys think about this Grandpa rework? Are you guys excited for it? Do you not like it, or, or do you like it? For me, personally, I don't mind it. All right, next big change. We got a fix to victims' endurance. We have fixed an issue with their victim endurance stat did not feel noticeably different for players. Victims total stamina capacity, stamina drain, and regeneration will now scale properly as players allocate more points into endurance. Now, this is a, like a good fix, but the thing for me, my brain, this can be looked at as a buff and also as a nerf for me personally. So how it is right now, right? People say that if you have 30 into your endurance, it's like the same as 50 into your endurance. But to be honest, we're just going to have to wait and see until the update actually comes out because 30 endurance now with the new update could be buns. And maybe you're going to have to put more points now into your endurance so you can actually run away from the family members. But again, this can be looked at as a buff because it, let's say if you do max out endurance now, it's going to be uh, different from 30 endurance now. And maybe you can run for like super, super duper long now. I don't know, dude. It's just a fix. We're just going to have to test it out. But yeah, that's gonna, it might be fun. And next up, proficiency stat affecting car battery. This is freaking huge, dude. We have fixed an issue where increasing proficiency points was not properly affecting the time it takes a victim to disable the car battery. Time required to disable the car battery now scales properly with victim proficiency stats. So now that the proficiency stat will be affecting the battery turnoff speed, I mean, this is, seems like a buff to me, bro. Like, literally the best attributes for victims just got buffed, to be honest. But at the same time, this was supposed to be a thing since the very beginning. So this is a fix, but we're just gonna have to wait and see in game to see if like max proficiency turns off the battery too quickly. They might have to nerf that part, you know, like the speed of it or something like that. I don't know, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. All right, next up, they fixed the generator sound and visuals. All right, yep, thunder sound effects on Nancy's house has been fixed, very nice. Basement lighting has been fixed. It seems like the family members can afford to pay the electricity bill now. So uh, you can now see the basement doors. It won't be pitch black. That's very nice. That's very nice. I'm proud of you, family. Next up, Slippery Perk on Sissy. This is freaking huge, boys. We have fixed an issue where players were unable to equip Slippery on Sissy despite it being available in the skill tree. Slippery will now be visible and equipable for Sissy. Baby, let's get it. So again, can't wait to try this out on her and some, some builds. You know what I mean? Maria's eyeballs has been fixed. She can now see. I don't know how I feel about that. No, I'm just kidding. Next up, <laughs> we got disconnected nodes. They have fixed Danny's skill tree. For specific attribute nodes not working and they also fixed julie's level 10 and danny level 10 reachability if that's a word for the skill tree you can now reach level 10 for danny and julia regardless of which way you go for the, their skill trees and stuff like that so yeah pretty nice patch we got grandpa changes 
victim endurance and proficiency stat fixes and cc slippery perk being available now with sunny's new cosmetics what do you guys think about this update let me know all your thoughts in comments down below thanks for watching smack a thumbs up and subscribing to the bell icon so you get notified every time we upload every video have a good one see you next one peace